Okay, on the board, I've told you all the pieces that should be interfaced. And now we're going to go to the iron. I'm going to show you how to press it on. Okay? Let's, let's go to the iron. I've already fused this piece. You'll notice that even on all the pieces I've cut and the lining, see the chalk mark, the X mark? Every piece I've, I've put an X that tells me the wrong side of the fabric because you get involved with this and in the wools and in the linings, you, get, you can't tell the difference between the right side and the wrong side. So pick a side, but don't take the pattern piece off until every piece is marked. I liked the fabric, uh, the right side of the fabric on the inside just because when I fuse big pieces, I like the pieces together so that they both stay the same as possible. This is fusible interfacing. And when you have big pieces like this to fuse, and by the way, there is glue on this, don't ruin our iron, use your press cloth. And I've marked it right side up so any excess glue will get on the fabric with press cloth but not on our equipment, okay? Now, when you press it on, you want to start with the middle and work your way out. And another thing about the press cloth is it will keep you from you know, stretching and skewing the interfacing. By the way, you want to cut the interfacing on the same grain as the garment, because even that can make it pull funny. Okay? So I'm starting in the middle. And I'm working my way out. Give it a lot of steam to melt the glue. And this is another thing about the cheap Pellon inter well, I guess this is actually made by Pellon, but the, um, the other interfacings have a hard time, it won't glue, it comes out when it when the garments dry clean and so forth. Okay. Then I'm going to turn it over. Not enough heat. You know what? We're going to need more water. We'll get that later. Okay. And. I'm going to sew the front to the side front because the pocket's always going to go over those two pieces and especially this one because it's a princess seam. I can't put the pocket in until I sew that seam in. Mm -hmm. So let's go to the machine and we'll get that seam in. Oh, by the way, I meant to do this. I meant this just makes your life easier if you go ahead and you noticed I notched where the hem is, so I want to press that up. And press the hem in. Just okay, like okay, one. I see. Yes, yes, just like that. 
that's why I've notched it there. I'm just for the sake of demonstrating, I'm only going to do one side, I'll do the other side mm -hmm. later. Mm -hmm. I want you to pin everything from the top to the bottom mm -hmm. and then work your way in. should match exactly. What I see people do is they just fly and sew and then they end up with this and they think, oh, I can just cut it off. You can't. So, please pin. They're expensive. They're like twenty dollars. Mm -hmm. The only reason I bought them was so I can keep them around my neck. Yeah. At home in my studio, I use um, metal snips, snips yes, no. that just fit in your hand. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go to the iron. Do you need snips because you need them real sharp? Once again, the using the tailor's ham or the edge of your press board, coat board, because I don't want to lose the shape. Obviously, the, this is not flat. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you're either going to use the tailor's ham to keep the shape, or make sure I usually drape over the edge of the press board.
many times, of course, i got to be careful of the glue. It's good to press the seam together first and then open it. Press it on the outside. <clears throat> you know, you're molding the garment with your pressing as you go, so it's an important part of it. If you notice, I'm keeping my shape. have we gone? 11. Okay, that might be good to stop there.